Good morning. It's the 16th of April, 2020. My name is Mark Pesci, and welcome to the next 100 seconds. All right, the WHO provided six guidelines for what it will take to reopen nations that have been closed because of the pandemic. The first of these is that they need to get the infection under control. I think we can say we've done relatively well on that respect in Australia. The second is that they need to be able to track and trace all new infections, and they need to have that infrastructure in place before they can open back up. And this is the sticking point. At this point, the government is saying in about a fortnight, we will be asked to install a track and tracing app that will use Bluetooth on our phone this app was developed in Singapore and what it will do is it will actually sense all of the other phones that are around you and if anyone using any one of those phones reports a COVID-19 infection then at that point what you'll see is that the app will let you know that you need to go and get yourself tested and that's the kind of thing that we kind of need but People are asking, is this really relevant? Is this really the kind of thing that we're going to need going forward? Or is this too big an infringement on our personal liberties? Well, I want to remind you of something. A smartphone is always connected to a cell phone tower so that your carrier knows where to route your phone calls and where to route all your data. And so your carrier actually knows where you are all of the time and it knows all of the other phones that are with all the other carriers around all the time because it's got to figure out whether it's sending them stuff or not. And so all of the carriers have a really, really, really good sense of where you are and who you're hanging out with. And then if you use an Android phone, your Android phone is pretty much providing that data 24-7. This is why Google Maps works. Google Maps works because because every Android device is telling Google all the time where you are and how fast you're moving so they can tell whether you're in a car and you're moving quickly or you're in traffic or if you're walking or whatever. So the amount of tracking that's already going on behind the scenes is enormous. It hasn't been used for public health before this. It could be. Google could probably just flip a switch and turn this on. Instead, we're going to use an app. That's probably a good thing because an app can have a sunset provision. An app can turn itself off and delete itself from your phone in a year, and I kind of think we shouldn't install any app that doesn't have such a sunset provision. And that's 100 seconds.